Minecraft is and has always been a game that's appealed to a wide range of players all over the world. No matter how you look at the game, there's quite literally something in it for everyone. However, because of the new GDPR regulations that were recently passed in Europe, which, in this case, heavily affects the sort of data that can be collected on those under 13 years of age, Minecraft might be, at least in part, affected by these changes. Changes which you've no doubt heard of through the seemingly endless barrage of, we've updated our privacy policy notifications and emails. I mean, seriously, there are memes about it at this point. While the way in which this affects Minecraft is pretty mild, it's still worth covering in its own video, which is what I'm going to do here today. And before we continue, no, Mojang won't be doing anything stupid like banning your account because it was made before you turned 13 or anything like that. They'd have to be really stupid to do something like that. Yeah. I'm looking at you, Twitter, for suspending my co-editor's nine-year-old Twitter account because he made the account before he turned 13. I mean, seriously, Twitter. He's 21 now. Give my co-editor his account back so we can just move on with our lives. Anyways, Minecraft, the GDPR changes, and you. Let's go ahead and let's get right into it. If you've been out of the loop for the past few weeks, let's quickly run down what the GDPR is and what it means for everybody as a whole. Since May 25th, 2018, companies all around the world have recently been changing their guidelines to coincide with the rules and regulations about collecting data on citizens of Europe. Because this change for the citizens of Europe was extremely massive, many websites, platforms, and video game developers were forced to comply with said regulations if they wanted to continue operating in Europe. Europe. And for maximum clarity, some have even changed their guidelines on collecting data for the entire world rather than just Europe. For most websites, this doesn't really mean much. However, for many individuals on certain platforms, it's been causing a ton of issues. Unexpectedly, even Microsoft and Mojang have had to make changes to Minecraft to coincide with these new regulations. And for a lot of players around the world, this could affect a lot but we're going to help you know how to get this fixed. So what does this mean for Minecraft? Well, for most players, it arguably means nothing. However, if you're from the United States or Europe and you fall into a specific age range, these changes could mean quite a lot for you. Understandably, a large majority of Minecraft's player base is fairly young. If you're currently what is considered to be underage with either US or European regulations and you purchased Minecraft before May 25th, 2018, you may be experiencing some of these changes already. In America, the definition of underage with COPA regulations is anybody under the age of 13, as where Europe's guidelines range anywhere from under 18 to under 16, depending on what country you reside in. For other countries around the world, in regards to Minecraft, underage is defined by being younger than 16. So, what's affected? If you've recently attempted to log into a Minecraft Realms, you may have seen a pop-up stating that Mojang has made changes to the way that Minecraft collects data on its users, and that if you're underage, you'll need to obtain parental consent before accessing your Realms account. But what does this mean? Well, if you're affected by this, it means that you can't use Minecraft Realms in any capacity until you've proved that you're of age, or unless you obtain parental consent. So, let's talk about that. So, how do you obtain parental consent? Well, luckily the system is fairly simple, but unluckily, it does require a little bit of money. Well, one of the methods do. So, first things first, if your Minecraft account is an old Minecraft account, meaning you still log in with your username and not your email, you do have to migrate your account from a Minecraft.net account to a Mojang account in order to use Minecraft Realms. Once you've done that, you're ready to move on. Right now, to provide parental consent for a Minecraft account, users must request with their parents' permission via a parent's email address, and from that point, pay a 10 cent non-refundable fee to Microsoft and Mojang to process and validate the permission. And no, to stop any witch hunts before they happen, Microsoft and Mojang have publicly stated that they are not profiting off of this. To validate this consent costs Mojang more than 10 cents per account. 
And either way, this is actually a fairly normal practice in the United States for platforms that require verified parental consent. If your parents don't want to pay the 10 cents per Minecraft account to provide consent, they can fill out a parental consent form and either send it to Mojang through the mail or send a photograph or scan the form and send it to Mojang in an email. Doing this process is completely free of charge, aside from the cost of postage if you mail it. Understandably, doing it this way will take longer than just paying the 10 cent fee, but it is an option for those who would rather do it that way. So what does this mean for Minecraft as a whole? Right now, it means that Realms will see a drop in players. Considering a large majority of Minecraft players are under the ages of 13 and 16, players will be affected. Players will lose access to Realms unless a parent or guardian provides the proper permissions for their children to play the game. While it stinks that this is the reality of the situation, there's no real legal way to avoid this anymore. As of now, it's only really affecting Minecraft Realms. This is primarily because Mojang actually runs these servers, and anything done on them regarding your account, messages, playtime, or whatever, is probably stored on their servers in some capacity, and if you're underage, they have to comply with specific regulations to protect your rights unless your parents provide consent. So I know this video was fairly different and definitely more serious than most of my videos, but with the current changes to the way everything is working in the world regarding the internet and privacy, it needs to be brought up so that we can have a further discussion on the matter. And because we need to further have a discussion, what do you think about these changes? Do you agree with them? Have you personally been affected in any way aside from a spam of emails? Are you actually sick and tired of getting these privacy policy emails? Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Antvenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.